Greetings everyone, Dr. Melanie Kreitz here with 360 Pelvic Health Institute and the Center for Men's and Women's Urology coming to you today with another segment. And we got an email in from a gentleman who was inquiring about bladder diverticulum and wanted us to expound on that a little more and you know that's, that's a great one. Um, not that I love bladder diverticula, but I actually really like to take care of them. Um, they create a very unique situation um, because you have the basic structure of the bladder. And then there is an outpouching of the muscle of the bladder. So you have the basic bladder and then the wall of the bladder gets weak and it creates a little bubble out on the, the structure wall of the bladder. Sometimes you can have one, sometimes they can be small, sometimes they can be the entire size of the bladder to where it looks like you have two bladders there. Um, sometimes they're called cellules where they are little teeny tiny things just peppered throughout the bladder. Now, when they become so large, they can present problems such as not allowing the bladder to empty properly because they're always holding urine. In those instances, a lot of times those large diverticula need to be surgically removed. And nowadays we can do those with a robotic procedure. Um, sometimes we have to do it with an open belly procedure and we basically just shave off that portion that is ballooned out and we sew the bladder back up where we've taken that off. Sometimes when they're small, they can still carry bacteria and cause recurrent urinary tract infections um, because they don't empty completely and they can carry sediment in them. What we've started as a profession doing uh, in later days or in most recent days actually, the smaller ones, we've actually experimented with cauterizing them, which is basically just kind of burning, um, putting a camera into the bladder under anesthesia, and we just kind of lightly cauterize and burn the inside of the diverticula when they're very small like that, uh, allowing them to contract as they heal and eliminating the bulge. Um, in some instances, we've been very successful at doing that. Sometimes they never cause any problems and they're just there. And if they're not causing any problems, you don't need to do anything about it. However, if you do have a diverticula present, the one thing that we always want to check for is dysfunction of the bladder because sometimes they develop because the bladder is under such pressure because it's dysfunctional. And when that's the case, we need to actually treat the bladder muscle, we need to treat the bladder itself because it can cause that ballooning and we don't want that and we would need to treat the underlying problem uh, so that the pressure does not creep up into the kidneys and uh, cause that back pressure to damage the kidneys. Now, having said all of that, um, that's a long-winded way of saying if you have a bladder diverticulum and if it's large or if it's causing problems, it needs to be removed one way or another uh, or even be managed. That's what you and your urologist can decide. If they're small and they're not causing any problems and your bladder's been investigated and it's not under any pressure and it's not dysfunctional and it's not causing you any problems, you don't need to worry about it. So I hope this helps. As always, keep sending in your questions and always let 360 Pelvic Health help restore your confidence.